Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast on the Distech server. I am Alan. Um, if you remember from last episode, the time lapse, I went mining and I got a whole bunch of uh, nice materials that need to be pulverized. So right now, I have uh, moved the pulverizer and I did some things. We're going to set up a new system here. And to get started, I need to build a new machine to complement the pulverizer and um, just make that right now some bricks and powered furnace oh yeah this will look nice right here there we go let's make sure the input is on that the right side the output is facing the chest all right good 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 so now we just need to hook this up with power and for this we're gonna set the power right here for now um, this is where it will be and then I also made some wooden, wooden conductive pipes which is a wooden transport pipe and a redstone which is just wood and glass so we're going to set that right on top and then I also made golden conductive pipes same recipe except it uses gold it uh, holds charge better and uh, have a plan later on to change this but for right now this is what we're going to use for lever and um let's get some water in here oops that is not where that goes you go in here and then i will also be building another something to help me with the water situation but for right now i just want to get on my uh, materials ready. I also collected some lava cans, which puts out far more energy than coal does in a steam engine. So that is how I'm going to start this baby up. So I might need to give it some work to do before it starts. So I'm going to cook up basically everything. So I have it set up so it's going to pulverize, and then the the uh, the yellow is not going to do anything. That's output to the back. I'll do something with that later. But it's going to pulverize and then move it to the red. The red is to the right. So is the blue. It's going to go in here and it's going to cook me up some nice iron ingots. And anything else that I want to go in there. So let me try to start this baby up here. Do I... For some reason it doesn't want to use lava cans or coal what's the deal here work you some of a bitch I also made this nice crescent hammer which is kind of like the basic hammer I mean did I put this wrong it's the basic hammer for this mod For some reason it doesn't want to output. Um, okay. It's, maybe it doesn't need a wooden pipe? Oh, back up, of course. There we go. Hmm. Work. Why don't you work? Well, okay, well, just use coal for now then. Because right now, I want to get this son of a bitch working. There we go. Nice, pretty blue lines. I'll figure out the lava later. For right now, this needs to pulverize me some iron. So let me go in here and grab more coal. I have tons of coal. Oops. Left clicking will give you a stack. Right clicking will give you um, one. Let's get the coal out. Put the whole stack in. I'll just have to come down here every now and then and uh, get some water. So I'm going to cook up a bunch of the stuff and 
See if it works. It should work. It'll work. Right? Yep, there it goes. And to that iron ingots. So, yep. I'm gonna finish cooking up a whole bunch of the stuff so I can finally make uh, some new and exciting stuff. So, I'll see you back here in a little bit. Alright, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, there's a lot of machines that might use the same object. Um, for instance, all the thermal expansion machines use those um, square things and the whatever they're called. I forget offhand. But there is one object that will help us with this. And that's called a project table. Part of um, Red Part 2. And as you can see, I'm making it here. Just uh, pretty simple. Chest crafting table, some stone and wood. You got yourself a project table. If we go ahead and set this down, you can see we have a crafting grid and some internal storage. So, for example, if I wanted to craft a piston, because I'm going to need some of those, and some wood for that, I can go ahead and create the piston. If I'm, I don't even know if I'm making it right. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, three wood iron. Do I have one more iron? No, but I do have some cooked up. Take one of those for now. Go ahead and put the... Let's make the recipe right. So if we put we can put that in here. Put this in here. Put that in there. Let's get the iron again. Put the iron in here. And we can go ahead, click, and then we take out, it'll take the resources out of here, leave it in here. But we don't want to keep clearing it out and all that jazz. So what does this little button do? This is an area for a blank plan, and I'm going to make that right now. You need indigo flowers, which are native to red part 2, which are only found in vanilla biomes. It'll give you indigo dye. Go ahead and take some of that. And paper, just add uh, paper with indigo dye and you get these nice little things called blank plans. If we go ahead and put the blank plan in here, click this feather right icon, there we go, we have a piston plan. So we can take this out, take out all this stuff, put the piston in there and uh, automatically ghost the images, and then we can go ahead and pull out another piston. So I'm going to do that for a couple other things. I'm going to do that for the... Um, let's see, what does the pulverizer use? It's machine frame. I'm going to go ahead and um, ghost that. And for some reason that's not coming up properly. Okay. I think it's just off a little bit. So I need uh, gold and iron for that as well. Cooking up some gold here. We already have the iron in here, that's good. There we go, machine frame. I'm gonna need a couple of those later on. Write that. Now we have a blank plan for a machine plan. And I also wanna do it for the redstone reception coil. I don't need to, because it's pretty easy to make, but why not? There we go. All right. Plenty of, plenty of plans so I can just come here pull it out quickly I don't need to you know screw around so these machines are going fairly slow as you can see it's um it can use two but it's only using 0.5 because I'm only using the one steam engine and this thing has run out of water a lot and I don't want to keep coming down here filling this up if I don't fill it up it will get stuck and I'll have to come down here bang it with a wrench so I also want to increase the output. So let's create three more or two more steam engines. So it's 11 copper each. And I should have, yep, I have 22 copper. So I'm, I'm going to need more wood. Let's see, it was two wood per gear, right? Maybe. So I need, oh, I need four gears. Yeah, let me get some more wood here. Oops. 
sticks, four gears. And I believe they need to be stone. Yeah, okay. Not a problem. We have stone in here. Wood gears surrounded by stone. And then those surrounded by copper. Awesome. Okay. What else do we need? We needed this, which is... So we need two of these. Silver and redstone. It's not a problem either. Two of these. Awesome. And then we just put it all together. Oh, two pistons. See why I made the pistons? Alright, this is not right. There it goes there. The copper, and then the remaining copper ingots. Bam. Two more steam engines. Let's go hook these babies up for ultimate power. Oh yeah. This might shut off or not. That's okay. Hit it with our crescent hammer. It should orient, but I'll have to put these on here first. And then, there we go. Those will orient correctly. I'll hook these up to there. Hook my levers up. I need to make sure they use the levers. Alright. Continuing to fill these up. And I figured out why the lava didn't work. Um, cause I was using lava cans, I need lava containers. I have a bunch of containers, but I couldn't pick up lava with that. But there's another block that will help us with that. And I will get to that in a couple minutes. Uh, let me go ahead and, you know, take some call from this guy here give these guys some call and we'll fire them all up ah more power awesome okay let's also work on getting these guys an automated way to get water now let me okay I need more gold conduct or gold pipes and also I'm using water, so with buildcraft and um, transporting liquids, I need waterproofing, which is um, the cactus green. You need cactus green, and for that, it's just cactus in a furnace, and it makes cactus green. So you have to do, put this in the crafting, and you got pipe waterproof. So let's go ahead and get a couple of these. Um, let's see. No, it's two gold. Okay. I'm going to get at least two of those. That should be fine for now. And I needed... I counted about four of those. Let's go hook these up. And then we're going to need a couple holes. And fill these with water. And you might know what I'm doing. If not, I need to make the block that does this. And what kind of block is it? Well, it's part of thermal expansion again. It's called the Aqueous Accumulator. Made by that in us. Okay, two iron redstone. Shouldn't be a problem. Two iron... Red. I don't even know what I'm doing. What's the recipe? Okay. Where'd the iron go? I think that's it. There we go. Recipe's a little fudged right now. I don't know. Probably need to fix that. Servo, uh, machine frame. We also have that plan. Two glass two tin and a bucket. I have a bucket that I found in a dungeon here. So let's put the bucket. I'm I always I put the wrong bucket. 
I forget what I'm doing. So I should take that out. Um, so we've got glass and tin. Bam! Aqueous accumulator. Oh yeah. Let's go put this bad boy down and show you what it does. It goes right in the middle of two water sources, and it basically will just fill up with water. Fast. And that's pretty much fast, okay? So if we take the golden waterproof pipe, put it here, it automatically outputs the water into our steam engines. So now, we can keep these bad boys nice and filled, without having to come down here and keep, you know, putting buckets in them all the time. So that is that. We'll definitely be making more of those blocks uh, for other machines later on. I could do it more compact, but I just wanted to show you guys how that basically works. So now that that's done, I want to make another block. It's called a liquid transposer, part of T. All these blocks right now I'm making are part of thermal expansion, by the way. Uh, liquid transposer. Oh, I need another bucket. But this works and it allows you, it will allow me to take the lava from my cans and put it in this machine. It has an internal tank in it. Put it in the machine and then output it into these containers that I made. I made, uh, where are they? A bunch of aluminum, aluminum cans and those will, those should work in the steam engines. I tested it on my single world testing uh, world and they should work perfectly so what do we need for this we need another bucket some glass machine frame and one of those again okay should be a problem should have all this nice stuff we need to make a bucket okay so Buckets and glass and it was copper. And I don't have enough copper. So let me quickly pulverize some of this stuff. We'll grab that. The way these furnaces work is they grab and they grab uh, whatever's in here and it disappears and it cooks. That way if you take it out it won't stop all the progress that you have made and that's that's pretty neat so we need two copper so that's fine copper and liquid transposer awesome i'm gonna set that hmm i did want to set it there then i realized there is not a very good option right now so, I'll need another golden conductive pipe, which is, well, I need a piece of redstone. Golden transport pipe, redstone, golden conductive pipe. There we go. Set this bad boy right there. And we'll set um, the output red to this side. So it'll put the cells over there. All I need to do is take my lava cans, throw them in here, click that button so it takes out of the blue, and it'll put all the cans of lava into here. Now if I go and grab my other aluminum cans here, I have so many more than I actually need. And then once this is done, I lose the cans, by the way. And these cans are just regular um, tin, three tin upside down bucket, and you get 12 cans. But apparently they don't work in the steam engines. So that is an upset. I guess copper gives pulverized gold, or that might have been left over from me pulverizing gold as well. Nope, copper gives you a 10% chance of pulverized gold. So that's cool. Extra gold. More gold. So that's full. So I'll put my <clears throat> aluminum cans in here. Switch the output so it's putting in the can. There we go. 
We should be getting lava containers. Ah, uh, yes. Now these will be able to go into um, the steam engines, and they will output, I think my math was like a little over six and a half, or like a little over six um, coal for each lava can. Okay, hey guys, at this point, my, my sound got corrupted on my recording, and I lost the last 10 minutes of commentary. Um, unfortunately, the video is still here, but I find it kind of hard to try to commentate on what I've already done and showed. So instead, what I will do is kind of give an overview in, um, let's see, what is this, episode 5, so 7... In episode 7, I'll kind of do an overview of what I did here um, and what I've done since. So, um, I hope that's not too much of a trouble. I'm, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. And, um, you know, I spent a long time trying to get the sound back and get it to work. And nothing's just working. So, hopefully this is just a fluke and a, an error. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Um... I hope this doesn't deter you from coming back next time. So, I hope to see you next time, everybody. Goodbye!